Hello, hello, hello! I'm Rovius. Today I'm going to show you my currently favorite automatic food farm in Don't Starve Together. It is my absolute favorite because there is no maintenance required and any character can pull it off. You don't need tentacles or anything to do it. Let me show you how to build it. In order to have a little bit of a visual guideline, you can remove four pieces of turf in a straight line and replace it with flooring of your liking. Put a rabbit hutch in the center of one end of your turf and line up four anemones towards the other end. You can find anemones on the lunar island, but be careful, always try to trigger them before you pick them up using a shovel. Starting at the rabbit hutch, you want to leave at least two free empty spaces and build a wall or fence of your favorite design around the rabbit hutch and the anemones. You can either finish right here with the gate, or if you want things to be a little bit more reliable, you can make a powder cake and put it in another pan before that. We're using a powder cake here because it never spoils and it can be made using a piece of corn or popcorn, a piece of honey and two fillers. And there you go, free food every night. Around three of those are really enough to feed one player. The only thing that might be a little bit annoying is that if you don't end up picking the food right away, you will have to re-trigger the trap in order to pick it up. But, well, realistically, uh, I often find myself in my world not picking up the, the carrots and the meat for a couple of days and coming back later and there will be even more for me to gather and you can hang it up in a meat hanger or whatever. It's really practical, it's so convenient. I don't ever find myself actively looking for food anymore. It's right next to my kitchen, really. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you found this helpful. Do you have a better setup, maybe, with anemones? Let me know. See you around next time. Bye-bye.